morning guys uh it is sunday i'm going out to milk i'm keeping milk for us again i was wondering where do you guys hide your christmas presents i was listening to the radio yesterday and a guy called in and said i leave them right in the middle of the living room floor in the amazon boxes and the radio host was like wow that's either really ingenious or really dumb and i was like well then i'm really either ingenious or dumb because those were sitting in our front room the good news is like we buy enough stuff on amazon that the kids don't think it's anything special. So, hey, we're just sitting there. I said, those are daddy's packages, leave them alone. So they did. I'm heading out to milk. See you guys in a minute. yet I wanted to show you last night we had like an hour I think I've told you Aquaman is anxious to get a um, a loft built for his bedroom so I gave him the cut list he showed him how to use the miter saw I think I've showed him before but it's been a while so he started cutting that stuff to length now we're gonna have to start putting it together um, also the pigs are gonna get a treat this morning because my wife they had a, like a Christmas party and there was a whole tray of this masta chole left over. Um, and we tried it. I didn't think it was that good. And then, I don't know if you guys can see, there's like a layer of plastic wrap underneath. I don't know if you guys, there's like a layer of plastic wrap underneath the stuff. That just doesn't seem right to me. I'm sure it makes it a lot easier for cleanup for them, but that just seems, seems wrong. So, the pigs are going to get it. So let's go take that to them now. Well, the pigs are taken care of. Uh, I also fed them their normal ration. See, it's gonna make this tray really easy to clean out, but <clears throat> some of it looks like it's melted. I. I don't think you're supposed to do that. Even if you are, it doesn't seem right. So I'm gonna say big fat no to that. Okay, let's finish the, finish the rest of the chores. I cannot talk this morning. My tongue must be too cold. And then we'll milk. I hope you guys have a wonderful and Merry Christmas. Um, I'm actually, because we don't have a uh, basement, we a lot of times, hello again, um, will wrap and do stuff like that out here in the barn. So, and my wife is the Christmas present wrapper. So I'm gonna go ahead and set up a spot, probably right about here for her to uh, do that, since the presents are right there. I'm dreaming of a white Christmas Just like the ones I used to know Where the treetops glisten And children listen to hear Sleigh bells in the snow The snow, you can see my eye is watering it's so cold out and it's windy and it's not white we don't have a white Christmas I don't know if you guys can see there's like a couple little ice pellets that are white but um last week I'm gonna go in the barn it's really cold last week um, the weather forecasters on MLive which is a local Michigan news site 
like that last Wednesday had said, you know, they kind of put percentages on the chance of white Christmas in your area. And like last Wednesday, it was 80% chance they have failed this city. Tell me if you know what that's from. They, you have failed this city. Anyway, we're going to go out and milk. I'll try to take some video. It's cold out. Let's go have some fun. Before we head out to milk, I wanted to show you. So I set up a table last night. Uh, tape right there. Wrapping paper over there underneath these coats with the, uh, um, the presents under there. So my wife can get everything done. Also, <clears throat> it's winter, and as such, the mice are looking for someplace warm. I didn't think to start putting traps in the house when uh, I started putting traps out here in the barn. That was a mistake. We found uh, evidence of mice, so I put some in there last night. We caught one. So I'm going to have to probably start leaving traps set in the house for a while, too. Not my favorite thing about winter. You guys say good morning? Pretty. Say good morning. How about the chickens? The ducks? You guys say good morning? Huh? No? Not until I feed you, huh? It's actually uh, one of the colder mornings we've had in a while. It says it's 29, but it feels like it's 23. The wind, I think, makes it feel even colder than that. Um, but when I'm milking her, I, my hands don't get cold because her udders are warm and the milk is warm, so I don't I don't get real cold. Um, but they're saying it's supposed to be like Thursday 42 and Friday 53, and then drop back down again, so unseasonably warm. The crappy thing, sometimes quite literally, about finding mice in your house is that most of the time you don't notice that the mice are there until they've left their signs. I've been using these traps because that's what I can find. But I went looking for more traps and I found some of these ones. These ones here with the yellow thing set really easily. So I'm gonna take some of those in the house. These ones, you just flip over like that, push this down and it's set. Uh, it's got, let me see if I can find something that I can trip it with. It's got a pretty, um, they've got to jump on this tray in order to get to the feed. So, uh, it works pretty well. I've already caught one in the house with this kind. So, let me show you again because I realized that I didn't. Oh. Um. So you just push down on this, or actually flip this over, and then kind of push down on this, and then it holds it. So you don't have to have your fingers in the danger area in here. So that so this stays down. Oh, this one doesn't look like it's going to go. There it went. I'll have to make sure it's a little bit lighter trigger than that. Oh, maybe I've got to put this thing up. Let's play with it for a little bit. Now I've got it. So you push this down like this. And then this little thing right here has to catch on the tray right there. And that's what actually sets the trigger. So now when the tray goes down a little bit, it goes kerplunk. So this down, that's on the tray there. We're good to go. Let's go set some in the house. Okay, guys, the kids are getting ready for bed. We went to church. Went over to my in-laws. Now I've got to find the kids' stockings in this whole thing here. But anyway, there's something I wanted to say to you guys. <sighs> so I'm offering this simple phrase to kids from 1 to 92. Although it's been said many times, many ways, Merry Christmas to you. Hope you guys have a blessed Christmas. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.